Hi, I'm Joan Rivers, and that's right, we're here now for my annual Academy Awards Fashion Preview. And if this year is going to be anything like last year, you're going to see more fake melons coming down that red carpet than on my Aunt Sadie's dinette set. <laughs> Good one, Joan. Now, let's start with Best Actress nominee, Alex Young. Fashion designers have been falling all over themselves to design for this gorgeous star, while her school teacher boyfriend would be selecting his wardrobe from the penny saver. <laughs> First lady of funny. What won't she say? Actually, we do have it from a very reliable source that Alex Young has already picked out her designer. Her sister, Sherry Baldzikowski. That hip, trendy newcomer, Henry Liu. What? She knows about the dress! She knows about the dress! You know, you think you know somebody. Sherry, what is going on? I don't know. Your Oscar dress? You promised that I could design it. When did I... Oh. Oh, be Sherry, be serious. I said that when I was seven. A promise is a promise. Plus, you said you were going to pay me for it. I believe we agreed upon 11 bazillion dollars. Sherry, honey, be reasonable. You are talented in so many ways, but this is the Academy Awards, okay? Wait, wait, wait. You thought you were going to win an Academy Award when you were seven? Yeah, at least be nominated. Wow. When I was seven, I was just trying to keep the bed dry. Is she really going out with him? Is she really gonna take him home tonight? Is she really going out with him? Cause if my eyes don't deceive me, there's something going wrong around here. Around here. You know, you're always does is he invites us out to dinner he, he never sits down he's a shark if he stops moving he dies do you hear me i want him dead 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 hey kids doing two more minutes i swear eat eat yeah that's right dead okay that guy is evil i'm pretty sure his bloody mary has real blood in it here we are enjoy and miss young Hope you win your Oscar. Oh, thank you very much. It's an honor just to be nominated. <laughs> I'm so tired of saying that. Did you order this? No, but, you know, chefs are always sending over free food. And there are people in third world countries... I know, who don't get satellite TV. I hear you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, check it out. It's Joan Rivers over there. Yeah, I know. Sitting at our table. Our table? Before you and the, uh... Prince of Darkness showed up. I was sitting at that table. Joan Rivers made me move. Oh. Well, maybe we should send over a bottle of wine. Honey, she made me move, all right? And I already started eating my Christini. When did you stop saying bread? It's just so fun to say Christini. Oh. <laughs> oh, but Patrick, listen, that is Joan Rivers. It wouldn't hurt to suck up a little bit before she interviews me on the red carpet. Why? You already got the nomination. Patrick, okay, it's not about the nomination. See, people care more about what the stars are wearing than the actual event. I mean, everyone remembers that Laura Flynn Boyle showed up in that freaky tutu, but who the hell remembers what won Best Foreign Film? <sighs> Nowhere in Africa. Oh, you sweet little lovable egghead. <laughs> no, my point is the Oscars is the biggest fashion show in the entire world, and that woman over there selling jewelry to the busboy... <laughs> the key master, okay? Oh my God, she's coming over. Act like you're having fun. <laughs> oh, Joan, how are you? Save it. <laughs> that is my souffle. Uh, your souffle? Uh, this is lovely, Joan. Thank you, don't touch Joan, he goes back. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, right? Uh, Joan, we're, we, we thought it was a complimentary dessert, you know how it is, and might I say, I love that, that tasteful brooch. Oh, Thank you. If you really like it, I've got 7,000 more. <laughs> Look, why don't you teach your boy toy over there some manners? Not to eat other people's desserts? Boy toy? Key master. <laughs> Look, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry for the mix-up, Miss Rivers. Why don't I just order you another souffle? Because that happens to be the last souffle, that's why. Do you understand? I starve myself all year long to have one dessert. This figure just doesn't happen overnight. 
It takes eight hours of horrible surgery plus a two-week recovery period you should never know from, from hell. Oh. <laughs> so, can't we just buy a bottle of champagne and forget this ever happened? Hey, no, no, no. We're not buying her a bottle of champagne. They served me this flight. She didn't buy us a bottle of champagne when she took our table. I always sit at that table. And I always eat the food that's put in front of me. Mm-mm, good. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay, this is getting a little out of hand. I'm sorry. Careful. Alex, <laughs> let's just forget the whole thing, shall we, darling? Okay. And I'll just see you Oscar night, Alex, okay? Great. I don't quite know what I'm going to be saying about uh. you, but I do know how it's going to end. Ass like a cow. <laughs> Are Alex Young's cookies? <gasps> They're double stuffed. She really does live the high life. And this is Alex Young's four hundred dollar bottle of champagne, <laughs> which we will get a picture of me opening later. <laughs> Where if she is Joan Rivers, she should be treated just like everyone else. And this is Alex Young. Oh my God, it's her! <laughs> Stevie, what are you doing here? You are my favorite star in the whole world. Did you get my valentine? Oh, you were so classy. Have you ever kissed Madonna with your mouth open? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what a day. I meet my favorite movie star and a United States senator. Senator! That's right. I am proud to represent the great state of West Dakota. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Senator, you just can't walk into this house whenever you want. You're right, and I'm sorry. You see? You see, at least he can acknowledge when he has done something wrong. Because he did something wrong. <laughs> hey, look, Nicole, I think this is a private matter. Maybe we should have you go take a little dip in the pool. I didn't bring my bathing suit. And I will be right out. <laughs> All right, Alex, what do you do? Well, we ran into Joan Rivers tonight, and Patrick ate her souffle. You cheated on Alex with Joan Rivers? No, Stevie, I literally ate her souffle. Oh. Oh, I just never heard it used that way. Look, Joan stole our table, and, and, and she never apologized to me. Why are you letting her off the hook? Because she has the power to ruin my Oscar night. I just wish you could have apologized to her or something. Well, I'm sorry, Alex, but in the real world, people don't have to apologize when they've done nothing wrong. Oh, I see. You think I don't live in the real world. Well, for your information, I am no different than anyone else. So if you will excuse me, I'm going to go meditate and feed my peacocks. <laughs> Please come out. You're the best designer in the whole world, and I didn't mean to insult you by having my own opinion. I'm sorry, I overreacted. I don't mean to live the stereotype, but words hurt. It's just that this dress has to be perfect. It has to be Joan Rivers proof. Why would you say that? No reason. It's just that uh, it's my first trip down the red carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I have gone a few times as Kevin Spacey's date. Who hasn't? Yes. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about uh, a drop shoulder? Nauseous. How about a, a high slit up the side? Mm, that make me dizzy. A little nauseous. <laughs> okay, how about beaded low cut with a lace box? Oh, please, even I wouldn't wear that. Oh. <laughs> and I've got the legs. <laughs> Henry Lou, how are you? <laughs> Good morning, Alex. Stevie, what are you doing here? Nicole and I partied here last night. Hard. <laughs> we ended up crashing in your cabana. Hola, Soledad. Two eggs over facile. I'm from Seattle. <laughs> and your English is excelente. <laughs> so listen, Al, I need a big favor. You see, Nicole got so excited when she heard I was going to the Oscars with you guys. I was wondering if we can get her an extra ticket. Believe me, she earned it. <laughs> Okay, first of all, ew. And second of all, I'm sorry, Stevie, but I never said that you were going to the Oscars with us. What? Well, I can't afford my own limo. 
<laughs> Stevie, you're not going to the event. What? Dude, this whole time you've been saying, like, we're going to the Oscars. We're going to the Oscars. Yeah, Alex and me. Oh, and how was I supposed to do the math on that one? <laughs> How's it going to look to the people of West Dakota when their own senator can't get in the Academy Awards? <laughs> Okay, he's really been getting into Oh, yeah, he's having a fundraiser on Saturday night. <laughs> okay, I'm out like pashmina. What? Whoa, 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 what happened? Honey, I cannot design your dress. No. You should have told me about your little Joan Rivers brouhaha. It's all over the fashion world. Brouhaha? It wasn't a brouhaha. It was nothing. It was a ha-ha, ha-ha. I hope he's good in the sack. <laughs> Henry, please. You know I love you, but with Joan Rivers after you, you are fashion poison, sweetie. No designer will touch you. What am I gonna do, Henry? Where am I gonna find a dress? Well, here's a crazy idea. How about a store? <gasps> <laughs> a store? Off the rack? <gasps> Henry lose that shame on you. You are my favorite star, and I never want to design a dress for anyone else. Having said that, do you have Renee Zellweger's phone number? <laughs> no. Henry Lou says toodaloo. <gasps> I can't believe that no designer will work with you. Come on, am I the only one that thinks this is insane? Joan Rivers is starting a war over a stupid dessert. Well, well, well. Madam Butterfly just told me about having to bail on designing your dress. <laughs> that must suck. So I guess it's off to the outlet mall. Cherry, sweetie, I'm sorry, but you are not going to design my dress, okay? Good, because I don't want to. Right now, I am all potential. If I design a dress for you and Joan Rivers trashes it, my career in fashion is over. Come on, who cares what Joan Rivers thinks? Okay, Patrick, two billion people watch the Oscars. Right now, Joan has half the writing staff of The Simpsons working on jokes about my butt. So what if she makes a few jokes? A few, a few jokes? Okay, Sherry, Joan reverse me. Oh, n no, no, I couldn't. It would be, it would, it would be too cruel to judge. Okay, this will be my mic. <laughs> uh, and here comes Alex Young. Alex, Alex, who are you wearing tonight? Actually, Joan, it's an unknown designer. Well, he should stay that way. <laughs> Next time, wear the dress and throw away the garment bag. Well, actually, Joan, the fact of the matter is... Hey, at least you're coordinated. The shoes are as ugly as the dress. Okay, Sherry, you can stop it. I get it. I'm killing with this. I gotta write some of these down. All right, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I will go apologize to Joan Rivers. Listen, Patrick, in the big picture, you're right. You shouldn't have to apologize. These awards are silly and trivial, and I just, I couldn't care about them more. I mean, it's just every actress's dream. Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamt about walking down the red carpet looking beautiful. It was like a wedding day for me. And much like weddings, this could be my only one. All right. I'll go take care of it. Thank you. Now, is Joan going to be okay with this? <laughs> Yes, she's going to love it. So what do you want from Alex's agent anyway? I thought you couldn't stand this guy. I can't, but Joan Rivers won't return my phone calls. I figured he might know how to get to her. Oh, my God. Elliot's got kids. <laughs> Stevie, look at this. World's meanest dad. Yeah. Come on, Stevie, you love novelty mugs. <laughs> What's the matter with you? I got dumped by Nicole because I couldn't get her Oscar tickets. You know what, buddy? I'm proud of you. You could have bluffed that you had the tickets and kept right on sleeping with her. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so stupid. <laughs> Alex, sweetie. Where's my Alex? Uh, actually, Elliot, Alex isn't here. Then get out! I don't have to be nice to you unless Alex is around. <laughs> and you, where's my lunch? Uh, I'm with him. That wasn't my question. 
Elliot, please, I'm only here because I'm trying to fix this thing with Joan Rivers, but she won't take my calls. I even phoned her home shopping show, about $90 worth of rings. She still won't talk to me. Bonnie? Bonnie! Bring me the file on Joan Rivers, please. Thank you. Listen, Joan's tough. With her, you gotta play hardball. Location, location, location. <laughs> The only way to get through to this woman now is to play dirty. Can you play dirty, Patrick? <laughs> Are you a dirty boy? <laughs> okay, you're really creeping me out. Look, I just thought you could help me get in touch with Joan. Oh, you'll get in touch with Joan. You'll get in touch with her, old school. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have no idea what he means. <laughs>
if you could get that little doctor out there to uh, do me a big favor. Oh, uh, well, uh, Stevie's not... I'll have him paged. <laughs> So, <laughs> Melissa, this is going real well, wouldn't you say? I'm really glad Mama River set us up. You know, you're a really sweet guy. But the truth is, I mean, for years, my mom's been setting me up with, like, the nice Jewish doctor. And, and in reality, what I really want is someone who's not married to his career, who's carefree, you know, irresponsible, wild. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. You know, I, I got to go. No, 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 no. Wait, OK? I'm not really a doctor. <laughs> I'm an irresponsible substitute teacher, OK? I taught ninth graders how to make moonshine. <laughs> Let's just call it a night, you know? I, I, I am going to thank my mom for this one. <laughs> I'm not even Jewish. Come back to my place, and I will prove it. <laughs> Sweetie, do you realize that I now have 16 designers who want to do my Oscar dress? <laughs> Thank you. It's all because you swallowed your pride, violated your principles, and went begging and crawling. Well, what is love about, if not that? Mm. <laughs> that is a good one. Come on. What else have you got? Uh, are you smuggling lemons in your pantyhose? Or are those your ankles? 